Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. It's Silk here, and today we're going to be playing some Battlefield 5 again. So, taking a bit of a break from the BF4, and we're back in the G6 on Hamada Breakthrough. And guys, this gameplay is pretty good. It's a uh, 128-0, I think, so getting a lot of kills without dying, and I'm actually doing a live commentary throughout the whole thing, so I'll be explaining exactly what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Also, within the video, I will show the loadout I'm using, so stay around for that. You guys can see exactly the loadout I use in this G6, and it's the one I always use to get these massive kill streaks. Honestly, it is pretty easy to do nowadays, so as long as you follow the tips in this video, I'm sure you can repeat something similar yourself. Anyways, I'm not going to hold you guys up too much, so on to the live commentary. I'll just keep unloading rockets onto the general area of the AA, and if I hit it, I do. And if I don't, well, I can still get infantry, which is good. So I've hit him for 35 so far, so that's pretty good. Should be one kill there, I thought, but I didn't get it. That's quite okay. But they are capping B, so we're gonna have to go have a look at that. See if I can spot anything. And I see a guy here. There was at least two in there. I'm just gonna go to this resupply this time. Doesn't really matter. And one of the tips I got from one of my friends, Imash Buttons, he told me that every 50 tickets to go by, you should have 10 kills, so... I'm, I'm on track here, kind of. With, uh, 7 kills and... Within 30 tickets, I pretty much have to get, you know, 3 more. Should be doable. Maybe I'll even do it in one straight here, we'll see what happens. And there you go. That's my kill quota reached in about half the time, so we're doing pretty well here. And a lot of people on A, so we're gonna, you know, turn around. Keep the rockets ready for it. And you see them in here, and probably there as well. I'm gonna be careful getting that close. Definitely way too close there. There's heaps more on the flag, so... Just gonna get our rockets back and hit it again. So, come in here like this, and that guy can get it too. And yeah, we're doing pretty good so far. One of the main things that can actually kill you would be a, uh, a Spitfire, so I'm also kind of keeping my ears out for one of those. And I'm just shooting my rocket there because I'm not going to get any more, so might as well just reset it. One kill is okay though, not too bad. And I only really shoot one rocket per strafe, that's another important thing I do. There's no real reason to waste too many rockets. Saw a lot of infi there, so I decided to unload both. Because I thought I'd hit the tank as well, but I don't really hit the tank too much, so... Kind of a fail. Even though four kills isn't bad. I think the tank will be low, so yeah, there you go. Put some rockets into the tank. And now, you can see traces back here, so that's a, that's a half track. Oh, give me the resupply, please. Nope, just missed it. So that's a little rookie mistake there. You should always have the flight path kind of planned out so you don't miss resupplies like I just did, but it will happen here and there. I'm lucky they haven't actually used any AA against me yet, which is good. I like to see that. Okay, so we got the half track here. Just gonna go for that. Okay, that was a good choice. Very good choice. So by now I should have about, you know, um, 15 kills, but I have 26, so we're doing fairly well here to be on this many kills currently. I expected more kills from that strafe. I should have just put both into the half track. That would have guaranteed me something. It's alright, we're just going to come back and do it again. So we're going to look for all the infantry. Just in there, probably. I 
we are really leveling them quite hard right now. Four more. And this is just pretty brutal what we're doing, but that's how it is sometimes. I believe there'll be snipers out back, but there's a guy here. Oh my god, there's a lot there. And they're actually holding on to A, which is surprising. I thought they would have lost it by now, but they're actually doing quite well to hold on to it here. Not sure where the second one is. Oh, shit. Gotta be careful there. So you really gotta be careful with fleegers like that, but at least I know they're fleegering now, so I'll be a bit more careful. Get some altitude properly with one extra, and I'll heal up as well. I don't really see much. So I see this guy here and maybe one there. So the second one I wasn't sure of. I just shot at some traces, and so that's the flieger there. And you can just see. Look at the pile of impies there. I don't really want to die here though, so I'm not going to get too close. Unless, you know, the kills present themselves, I'll get a bit closer. This VC lunch guy's been coughing it pretty bad. But they've done really well to hold on to A, despite me, like, hitting it so hard. So there's an AA on there, maybe? Or just someone shooting at me in general, but that's okay. I'm gonna go here and one here. First one didn't really get anything, but the second one did. And you'll notice I'm not really going for the bomber. It just takes too long to kill one. It's way too long to kill a bomber. I'm starting to AA now, which is a bit interesting. I can show you guys exactly what to do against an AA because it is pretty straightforward. You just sh and shoot your rockets from distance, pull off. Pretty easy. We have plenty of infantry ready to be picked up. Our teammates are doing really well with these spotting players as well. You'll notice that you know, they're spotted most of the time. So we're in the menu now and I'll show you guys exactly what I run and I'll just explain quickly why I run everything here. So. Basically, we're going to be going for the right, middle, right, right, and these cannons are good. Uh, you could run this reinforced fuselage, or whatever it's called, armored fuselage, but the cannons are just a good insurance policy. If you have to dogfight someone, at least you know you can get them down really fast with these, and the extension of that is the fin barrels. It will just give you a kind of better cooling property on your cannons, so when you stop shooting, it will recover faster, so it helps you just get planes down really quickly. Now, high altitude package is really, really strong, but I just don't think it's a fair perk to have, so I don't like abusing it at all, so I won't go for that. Let's go fin barrels. And then here we're going to go for the rocket pods. This is the star of the show, really, and it's what I get most of my kills with. So they're really, really strong. They one-shot infantry, and they do about 60 to 80, maybe, 60 to 70 damage on tanks. So really, really strong. And then we have the reinforced wings, and that's really strong because if you get a wing breakage, you're pretty much fucked in a dogfight, so I like to make sure that my wings don't break. Anyways, that's it guys, I'm going to put it back to the gameplay. We just got that resupply, which is good. I probably didn't need two rockets there either, but I used them anyway. And the map's getting a bit brighter, so I can actually see now, which is good. Okay, I can kind of shoot off my own spots rather than just the ones my teammates are giving me. Always helpful. We are really just owning right now. I will not lie, we are doing really well. Looks like the teammates are actually getting this flag back. One there, one somewhere here. Oh, we are way too close here. At that point I should just pull off, I shouldn't have stayed that close. It is a quick 50 and 0 though. Um, so, got a guy here. And guy there. Second one didn't actually come through. I 
I think it might be a half track with the traces down there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we'll go have a look. Nice no, as the guy. I'll come back around and hit him with another rocket. I think there are guides there, but no, not anymore. That's okay. And that bomber really starts to has to start doing more. Otherwise, they are not going to get anything. I think I saw an AT rifle back there, but maybe not. You got way too close there. A recurring theme. Oh, there's a half track. Okay. So half track usually means push. So. Clean up those guys. We got a tank there with a couple of MP next to it, so got one for the tank, one for the MP. The MP split up, but at least I got the tank hit a little bit. As long as we all just start working at the tank, he will die eventually. I'm gonna go one for this guy here when I get it, bang, and then one for that guy. No success there, so we're just gonna fly through, get some more. Not gonna get too closer. I just didn't see anything there at all. I could shoot at spots where I know they're often at, but I like spotting them myself, making sure. So a guy here. And I'm just gonna get more rockets, fuck it. That wasn't too eventful. Two guys up on that hill. They seem pretty fucked though. Continue just farming up like this. Doing pretty good. That's not good. That's very not good. This guy has a gun in there, so that's two kills we can actually just go get. At this point in the game, we're not really getting too much action, so. When I get a good chance to kill him, I think I will. Oh, his gun is actually active though. Bit annoying, but... Is that the gunner bailing? I'm not sure. No, he's still there. Yeah, she survived all that. Crazy. But there you go. Couple more kills and do my team some good. Not sure where the rest of them are. Right there. Oh, I can't spot it, but there is a common sniper spot right on this little corner here. I don't really mind getting in close either. Like, I mean, I find it boring to sit too far away, so I will do it here and there, but. For the most part, you need to be sitting really far out. So this guy's here. Yeah, I find it more fun flying like that, to be honest. Kind of getting there a bit. And we're still doing just fine anyway. Alright, so looking for people, there's one here. I'm just gonna shoot one in the smoke, just in case. I hear a Spitfire actually. Oh, he went, oh, there he is. Thought he was gonna go for me, but he didn't, so it's all good. No real worries there. Oh, a rear gunner on the plane there. 
That's a fr oh wait, didn't reload my rockets. That's the whole point. of are shooting there. The whole reason why I ended up shooting that bomber was because I saw two guys in it, but the second one bailed anyway. And I used my rockets there because I thought I was going to get them back straight away, but I didn't. And now they've taken A, so that was not the play going for an aircraft. Should just kept farming infantry. <laughs> um, but it's alright. We'll get our rockets back in a sec and we'll have a look towards A. So, guy here, guy there. Some I just don't get the second one. No, that's not a big deal though. And we're getting A back, so it's kind of rough for them, but... Right here, go right there. One back here, one over there. And just getting two a strafe is pretty good, like it's good enough really. You shouldn't have to worry about getting too much more than that. I've killed that guy so many times. They're on B, so go to rockets back and get some altitude. Go look at B now. See what we can find here, so there's a guy here and a guy there. Second one didn't die, it's all good though. Looks like we're gonna get it back. Get the uh, half truck out of the way. That's usually a very easy kill. And it can be stacked up with kills as well. It's not always just one or two. A lot of people on B, so our goal here is to, you know, kill the AA first, and then after that, just get one more. Hopefully, there's a half track shooting at me, actually. So you know, I could go for it. That tank looked low. I thought it was on fire, but it wasn't, so... And I did my team some help there. I mean, I could be able to kill the tank pretty easy there. Now they're on A. And it's all falling apart by the looks of it. Unless I can stop them on A. Didn't stop them there. They still got it. something right there. I'm not sure what it is, but it's shooting a lot of traces, so... Oh, it's just a guy. Play something here. Nope. I'm actually capping B really fast here, so... This could be the end of it. Unless I can stop them, I guess. So, I'll have a look. It looks like here and there. No way, I'm gonna run that back. I'll show you guys exactly what happened. That rocket, the first one I fired, uh, the, the plane body blocked the infantry. It would have literally hit the infantry and killed them. And I think that would have kept us in the game, but... Insane that that happens to me. It does though, so that's all good. In the end, that's just continuing the round though. We're gonna get more and more kills. So let's see if we can break a 100 kill streak here. That's the goal. So we're going to go for this guy here. Oh wait, I have rockets yet. Just shoot the rockets and run. <laughs> this hasn't been good flying by me. I've been getting a bit too... Going a bit too hard, but... I've been having fun. And often the infantry will stack up on this mountain here. So if you look there, you can often get a fair few kills. There's a couple easy ones. We 
the sector isn't the greatest for farming kills, I'll admit, but it's, it's not bad. You can definitely get it done. Second rocket got nothing there. It would help a lot in my team use spotting players now. This is the point where I'm not as confident really spotting people. Oh, a little bit of a wing tap. It's okay there. Okay, so that's a... That's a, uh, AA. Not sure where that one is, so we're gonna go back and uh, repair ourselves and then we'll reapproach the situation with the AA in mind because he will be a bit of a menace if we don't kill him. Oh, what am I doing, man? I just wasted so much time flying around like that. That was bad. Should have kept in mind where the resupply was. I should have got closer as well to those kills, really. If I got a bit closer, I think I would have got way more. I mean, it would have been more risky, but sure. It's going to be risky no matter what, I think. Storming aim really hard now. As you can see, they're all up on that hill. So I'm just going to go here and shoot one there, shoot one there. Pull out. And I think I'm going to back out and use this route resupply now just to keep some more range from them because they're getting really close to me now. And I'll investigate this dogfight situation here because something seems to be going on. Oh, he was just shooting for nothing, okay. I thought I needed to save my wingman, but no real need there. There's a couple long range ones. We'll use this bridge as a resupply now. And we've got a little transport vehicle coming in, so we're gonna have a look at that. I don't actually see where it is anymore, so there and there somewhere. I'm just gonna keep switching it up now between the resupplies, just to keep them guessing. Because there's a hundred streak. I actually want them to cap this, I really do. I really would like them to cap this next point because it gets much better for the farm, so I'm going to go easy on them here. I'm not going to actually stop them, just because I think it will let me have more kills in the future. Let's get a couple more. It says 102, and this is exactly what I want. This next sector is going to get really, really hard for... Well, not this thing, the one after this is going to be where it, yeah, that's when it gets hard. So you got to farm when you can. <laughs> oh wait, maybe it's the next one. The castle is really good for farming. I think this one's decent though. I think this one's a pretty good sector. I can definitely make it work, so. We've got an AA over here somewhere. So. There's a couple kills there, they're easier, so I'll just get those. Oh my god, lots of people there. So you got one heading this way, one heading that way. I got neither, so there's that. <laughs> I believe there's no real cheaters in this game, so that's really rare for an Asian server. Extremely rare to not see any cheaters. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Almost never see that, though. that's crazy. Now have a look. I don't know why I did that. I mean, I got a kill for it, so cool. That tank is so hard to kill, there's no real point shooting at it, but I got a kill for it, so that's cool. 
As you can see, there's an AA shooting at me right now, so I'm just gonna turn around and book him. Definitely a bit of a risky move going for that AA like that, but I mean, he needed to die somehow. I'm using my rear view just to look at the combat area because I don't really want anyone sneaking up on me when I'm repairing. I'm gonna have a look down towards it, and it seems like this guy there, guy there. Just gonna head back and get a quick resupply. gonna be kills but it wasn't so it's all good just gonna look out the side of view see where the farms are and then when the rockets are almost ready that's when you go in the second one should have been a kill though. oh shit that's a rock that's a bomb there almost flew into it as you can see there's a half track pushing up the side I'm gonna go for that. Didn't actually kill it. But it's not too bad. A lot of kills to be had here. So I'm just gonna turn straight around and have a look. One there, one there. Easy two kills. Bomb flying under me. Uh, there's a couple there, one here. I don't know if I'll bother going for the AA here. I mean, he's annoying, but I don't think he'll kill me from that range. Really good luck doing that. I think I'm gonna go for those infantry, holy shit. So many. Now I'll do a repair. There's just one though, I don't think I'll do all of them. Because I can just snipe these infantry from out here. I'm gonna run now. Get a really safe repair off, because this is not good HP I'm on. A's of course are very I'm very strong, but I mean I can safely avoid it like that and keep getting kills which is good. Oh go away buddy. There's actually two of them, that's why it's so much damage. I'll go for one of them there. Oh yeah. Hit him for 70. Not really that good, actually. Could have killed him from there. You can see the range on that thing is just absolutely ridiculous. And they're really just whipping him out on me now. This is all good. So I managed to get one, which is good. Shoot half that damage coming in. Because it is a lot of damage that they're putting towards me. I bailed off his AA before my rockets even got there. Man, it just... It really pays to be careful around this much AA pressure, I'll tell you that much. He actually might have me here. He's doing a really good job of hitting those shells. I'll give him that. My god. 
They are really easy to use, but it's rare that you'll find someone that can hit them up to that range. I mean, we could just outsmart him here. <laughs> he's looking at the wrong angle. Total wrong angle. And, yeah, that's the way to get the kill on him. Looks like there's a tank on that flag. I'm just going to get that tank instead. Does seem like the easier kill. Now I'll try to ignore the AA and just get the rest of these kills. Finish off the game. Sector B has actually been lost, so... Perhaps I can get a few more kills before the game ends. As if that wasn't a kill. Oh, it was. Okay. Cool. That's it. That's the game over. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that was a 128 and 0 gameplay on Hamada in the G6. It's probably the best play in the game, and this is maybe the best map to fly it on. Anyways, that's it for now. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.